Hey guys, JPilt here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my table saw fence system that I designed and built using aluminum extrusions. When I first got my Craftsman table saw, I was not happy with the original fence uh, that it came with and I didn't want to spend a ton of money for an aftermarket fence system. The design of this fence is uh, pretty simple. It has two handles and locking them both down basically pulls the fence perfectly perpendicular to the front rail on the table saw. I've been able to get um, pretty good accuracy using this design and I've also tested it multiple times. Using my dial indicator, I've only seen a variation of about three to four thou at the most. One highlight of this system is that I'm using these UHMW pads in the sliding mechanisms, uh, which have really low friction and require no lubrication. So this lets me have pretty smooth movement across the front and back rail fence. Another thing that I love about this design is the fact that I can adjust my front and back rails to increase or decrease the fitting capacity of the fence. Um, so this particular one that I'm showing here in the, in the video is a um, 30 inch cutting capacity fence. And I can pretty easily adjust that, decrease that if I need to, if I need to save space in the shop. Um, on the other hand, I can also replace the front rails with longer ones and get up to, up to 50 inch capacity as well if I have a setup where say I have a router table um, and I want to use the same fence for my table saw and the router, I can very easily get that 15 inch cutting capacity as well. In my future videos, I do plan on using the T-slots in the fence extrusion to build other jigs like um, just a simple stop block, tenon jig, paper jig. Um, having the T-slots in the fence um, gives me a lot of possibilities for designing different accessories for this. And overall, I am very pleased with this design. I've um, been using it for a few months now. And if you are interested in building one yourself, um, I'll post a link in the description where you can purchase all the parts um, along with uh, the assembly and installation instructions as well. Thanks for watching and let me know what you guys think of this build.